we're talking about here is, uh, well, Queen Zali. Now, uh, of course, part of her climate change plan is to make sure that uh, solar panels will be put all over the northern beaches, that the uh, headland there at Manly will, of course, be turned into uh, a wind farm. Oh, that's right, it's not happening. Instead, she's going to tweet about it. And that's really powerful, isn't it, Zali? Uh, she, of course, will get plenty of traction with lefties who think that she is the answer. But she has this bill that we showed you last night that the Channel 9 newspapers, which, by the way, are the only news organisation that went backwards, according to latest online figures, after a summer of natural disasters, well done, is that they uh, turned around and said that she was representing the sensible centre. The Sensible Centre were, of course, at the height of the bushfires, apart from posing for photos in the Channel 9 newspapers wearing a mask, OK, is that uh, she believes that we need to go somewhere near a Green New Deal. You know, this is a rip-off of the American version that says no more planes. OK. Tell that to the people of the insular peninsula that you're not allowed to use your car anymore. Oh, and, of course, when it comes to buying an electric car, remember, she's passionate about electric vehicles but her kids are too big for any of the ones that she's had a look at. This is the one they're going to pin it all on. But I wanted to show you this, because there is, a, well, a private member's bill. Now, private member's bills essentially go nowhere unless the government decides to elevate them to being debated in the parliament or the opposition has the numbers, like it did towards the end of the last parliament, thanks to rats like Julia Banks. Well, this goes nowhere. But... The reason this is being debated right now, the reason you are seeing quotes and headlines like this from Zali Stegel, is because get ready for a click and repeat game to be played about climate change action from the same-sex marriage debate, where the lefty Liberals get louder and louder, cheered on by the big money and the bloke in the pink house who was saying exactly the opposite when he was Prime Minister. And by the way, I know that... Uh, our old mate the ghost is working very hard to try to undermine the government. I just couldn't help but think if he'd only worked as hard in the 2016 election as he used to shit can the Liberals after leaving the parliament, he may well have ended up with a big enough majority to be able to get something like a national energy guarantee. But alas, we'll never know. I imagine that's not part of his Choose Your Own Adventure book that he's coming out a little bit later. I'll give you the tip. Whichever way you go, he's awesome. But the plan here is to make sure that you make as much noise as possible so the Labor Party turns around, knowing that this bill goes nowhere, to say, why will the government not let this bill go anywhere? And then, if eventually someone somewhere says it's time to bring this bill on, then it's, why don't you have a conscience vote? Because then that's all about showing how tied to the evil nature of the right wing the Liberal Party truly is. All of which, again, a click-drag repeat of the same-sex marriage debate. But remember... Even in the Channel 9 newspapers, who went backwards on their websites during a natural disaster, when they had the self-selecting panel of 17 people to talk, among other things, about how the Prime Minister's leadership was over and that was enough for them to justify a front page, the very same 17 people who apparently knew everything about the future of politics said, we must have action on climate, but balked at the concept of a climate price. So there'll be lots of noise. Auntie Fran will demand that the Labor Party says exactly the opposite thing to what they say when they try to talk to you dumb people in Queensland. All the way along, Australians know what, believe it or not, even a Labor MP said today. Joel Fitzgibbon is uh, semi-regular here on Sky News. I'm assuming at one point he'll get a car park. He's on a lot. But he said today and admitted to Chris Kenny that no matter what we do in Australia, we will not ultimately affect what is happening around the globe. So help me out. When there was a debate about same-sex marriage, that was about people who we could have responsibility for in this country. I passionately argued that that was the right thing to do, and eventually it happened. Everything about dramatic climate action led by Queen Zali, cheered on by a ghost who wants to put the shiv into the people who removed him as the king of this country. See this for what it is, a game. None of it about genuine climate action. Genuine climate action is about doing things like making sure that so bushfires don't kill people, we can reduce the amount of fuel load that is in the bushes. Let's make sure that when it rains, we actually capture it. Because if the predictions are even half right and it might not rain as much as it has in the past or it's definitely going to be a fire again, let's make sure, not, let's make sure that there's not the fuel for them to happen. 
But then, of course, they'd have to be arguing against themselves. And that's Albo's job. <laughs>